with Graham. Graham, thank you for being with us tonight. Hello. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your photography. Uh, you know, I know you got pictures here. How did you uh, choose to become a photographer? Well, um, my dad gave me a camera when I was very, very young. Uh, I guess that's how the story goes, you know. Um, and I've been doing it ever since. But I've only been really seriously doing it for the last seven, eight years. Um, I went to Chernobyl um, two times, and it really got me um, going on it from there. So and there's a few of them up there as well. So, um, yeah. And since moving over here, California has um, a lot more um, interesting things to photograph than, than the countryside in England. So it's, um, it's, it's easier. So, you know. So I know you, you said you were, uh, you've come here from England eight years ago, right? Yes, um, a little town just outside Cambridge, uh, north of London. Um, yeah. <laughs> what, what, uh, what made you move to the States? Uh, to, uh, just to seek opportunity for photography or uh, some other reason? Um, family. Family moved out here, so I followed naturally. Um, I have a little boy as well, so he's, he's nearly eight now as well, so um, yeah. That's that's the reason, main reason I'm out here. So, um. what are some of the well, some of your favorite things to photograph? Are there certain uh, buildings or nature? Is there anything in particular? Um, abandoned stuff, really. It's it's where I go for. I mean, the whole the Chernobyl thing, for sure. Um, anything that's abandoned, um, the Salton Sea is a good one. I've been out there a few times. It's it's pretty good stuff. Um, um, I've yet to do Bodhi and, and Death Valley, and I gathered some good stuff out there. So, uh, one day, <laughs> it's finding the time, you know. <laughs> right, right, going around. It, it, so, is it uh, just that because they're abandoned or not in use that you want to give them life again? Maybe your for, uh, photograph, maybe them just being inanimate. You know, I'm just curious. You know, I, I, th I think it stems from childhood. There was um, a few abandoned buildings around where we were when we were kids, and we used to go and explore them and stuff. So um, to be able to go to Chernobyl, which is um, a whole city that's been abandoned, and to walk around the city and, and see how it was left in the 80s is, is pretty incredible. You know, it's kind of gone on from there. So definitely stems from being from when I was a kid. So, yes. so you remember the incident happening, and then you what, sometime later in the 90s went there to photograph it. Is that what it is? I remember I remember seeing it on the news because it, the whole the whole cloud of radiation it flew over England quite. Um, a lot as well, so I remember seeing it on the news. I was only 11 at the time, and um, but only in the last so sort of like seven, eight years, ten years maybe, it's been possible to go there. So and and, and with the internet and everything else, it, it's easier to book that kind of stuff online. So I know some of the buildings are in domes, right? Some of the old uh, science buildings where it actually happened. Did you for photograph some of those? Um, not the science buildings now, but there's there's actually um, a dome kind of a shelter being built over the reactor right now. So that's scary stuff. <laughs> so so ha have you been drawn to maybe going to some other cities that have had uh, a similar type of um, destruction happen to them, like Nagasaki or you know some of those others around the world? There, there's another one in India called Bhopal, I think it is, with the, the whole gas um, a leakage that happened. Um, I forget whether that was in the 80s or 90s, but that's another one that's fairly interesting as well. So, you know, time and money. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> You're right. Now, you know, being here in the States, have you gone to some of the, um, like we were talking about uh, Bodhi, uh, some of those old western towns that, uh, you know, are just off the map. Have you thought of going those, or have you been to some of those? Yeah, there's, there's one called um, Rhyolite, which is out just north of Las Vegas, and it's an old gold mining town, isn't it? Um, there's a few old buildings there, and, and there's, say, the Salton Sea, another one. That's a good one. Um, I'm trying to think of getting out there now. <laughs> but, yeah, Rhyolite was a, it's a pretty interesting one. It's, it's out there in, on the edge of Death Valley, and there's some strange old folk out there. <laughs> so, <laughs> People that you see in the old westerns. <laughs> now, how about uh, down uh, south, uh, south of border, Mexico, South America, Central America? Anything there catch your eye that you might be able to maybe fly down quick or take a drive to? Not really. Um, I've been advised by most LA locals not to go south of the border. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I went to Tijuana once uh, for a day, and that was probably the last time. <laughs> I understand. How about uh, North Canada? <laughs> Anything? 
Um, no, I haven't got up that far yet. Though Seattle would be nice, so, uh, one day, I'm not sure. <laughs> but. Now, now being, being in the States, are there certain states that you want to go to? Texas, perhaps, or you know, uh, Florida, you know, some of these um, other states where you know, there are some rich history and you know, there are some old buildings there to be photographed. There's a lot more things on the East Coast. I think that there's there's a few um, pretty interesting places and mental hospitals and stuff that have been long since abandoned that I wouldn't mind doing, but I think they're pretty scary. So. Well, you know, that, that's interesting that you, you mentioned that. Uh, you know, some of those buildings in the back in the East Coast are from colonial times, but they're, in, they're still in use. Is, is there an attraction to those, or is it that it's basically the... Uh, that they're abandoned that really draws your eye, that they've been you know, left to, uh, be, uh, to dilapidate and uh, you know, be worn through time. It's the, it's the abandoned bit. You know? it's, it's, the, it's the roofs leaking in water and, and not being able to stand safely on the floor and things like that. It's an adventure, you know, so it's, it's, it's a challenge. So are, do you have uh, other shows around right now besides uh, here at the, uh, at the Venice Art Crawl? Nothing at the minute. So, if anyone wants to book me, <laughs> you know. that's right. We'll contact you. That's right. Oh, great. I appreciate it. Thanks for taking time with us. Thank you.